this is the headline for me. Your study, is, and I know you need to replicate this. I know it needs to be peer-reviewed. I know it's early days. But your study has essentially shown that this thing is as the case fatality rate is the same as seasonal flu. So shouldn't the major recommendation now be to open up as soon as possible, maybe keep sheltering the vulnerable, but should, not, should we not be uh, shouting from the rooftops that it is time to open up? I think that uh, it is time to open up in many locations and the time is coming for others. I think that uh, if we are careful in collecting information on how the epidemic is evolving to make sure and to offer confidence and self-confidence to all people in our community that uh, we haven't lost control of the epidemic because many people will still be very fearful. They will say, I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. People are still dying. Um, if we do that, if we offer science, if we offer reliable data, if we offer reassurance that this thing is not going to kill you, it doesn't seem to have a higher chance of killing you than uh, you know, seasonal flu for each person who is infected, although we know that there are some people who have a much higher risk, and these, of course, we need to protect very, very carefully. I think if we put that agenda in place, we could open up, and I think it needs to be gradual, it needs to be uh, reinvigorating uh, confidence in the population that uh, the right thing is being done, and it is to the benefit of our society and our citizens and all people, and then I think we will do well. We will have to watch it very closely, but if, if we don't do that, I don't really see an alternative. You said in your previous interview you're just a, a simple scientist, I, I, which I, and not political. And I just, I, I want to uh, get you to reiterate this in some way. Is there, because we see that the, the battle over opening up or can remaining in place seems to be falling along partisan lines, not just in the United States, but all over the world. As if there is, you know, a, a, almost a battle either between left and right or between the bureaucracy at the CDC and the president or what have you. Is are you above this fray? Are you are you a Trump supporter or an anti-Trump supporter? Do you is 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 are you politically motivated in some way? Do you prefer e the economics of the world over the lives of people? Anything like that? I, I have to reiterate that I'm just a simple scientist uh, who is just trying to correct uh, uh, one's own mistakes. I'm just trying to correct my mistakes and get it right and save lives. I have absolutely no political agenda uh, behind uh, my thinking and my calculations. Calculations in science are the same regardless of what political party one belongs to. They should be the same. And I, I think it is a major shame to uh, really uh, turn this into a political battle. There's lives at stake. There's lives of our fellow citizens. There's lives of people who are disadvantaged. There's lives of, of uh, our relatives. There's lives of, of, uh, of everyone. Uh, they're at stake. And I, I think that it's horrible to turn that into a political battle, either in this country or in any other country. We, we should remain united. We are homo sapiens sapiens. Humans, the wise, that's what we should be, you know, not just uh, partisan uh, uh, people who want to elect uh, one president or another or uh, promote the agenda of one political party. We are homo sapiens sapiens.